Hello, Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. What is going on for Virgo? What do they need to know at this time? What is the overall energy? We have the Ten of Cups. We have the King of Coin, you, and the Page of Cups. So some of you may be dealing with other earth signs. This could be an earth sign who is... I'm interested in you, Virgo. What is the energy here? The hangman seeing something differently and the outcome, the ace of coins, something good. Somebody has commitment on their mind, page of storage under the deck. Someone could be spying, spying on you right now. All right, let's see, Virgo, what is happening here? What is this 10 of cups? So this could be somebody who wants to get married. So if you're dating somebody, you wanna know their intentions. A lot of times that's a, a question I get, personal readings. What does this person want for me? What are they looking for? Now, this person, if it's, it could be a water sign, could be an earth sign, but doesn't doesn't really, we, we can't just say it's just one or two signs, but they want, look at, he's under here also though, or this could be you. So there's definitely something coming in. Now you may work with this person, you do not need to though. You may have met them while out, nine of cups, three of coins, maybe you guys have been dating. Uh, this person is in love with you. This person is looking for commitment. They want something long-term. Term Ten of Cups. What is the Ten of Cups? So the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit. Ten of Swords. Okay, for somebody, this person may have left and now they're coming back. They may have actually disappeared, possibly. That is your energy, of course. Maybe some of you are dating other Virgos, possibly, but um, maybe even dating each other for a little while. Okay, I feel like you've been very picky, Five of Swords, who you're dating, okay? You want the best. Uh, you've been maybe scrutinizing some of the people you've been dating or, no, I'm getting you can be picky, Virgo, definitely, because you, you want to, you know, you want to date only the best. Let's just say that. It could be this person you thought things were going really well, and then yes, maybe they did d disappear. I'm having a very difficult time talking. What is the permanent energy? Strength. Okay, there may have been a death in this person's family. There may, I'm getting something about an illness though. I'm getting something that may affect someone's speech. That might be a stroke or something. I'm not saying this person had one. I'm saying there could be somebody in their family who was affected by an illness. This might be why this person disappeared. Uh, I think that came out in Pisces reading, I think last week or something, that might be a Pisces involved or something. But what is this King of Coin energy? Queen of Wands, the Magician, and the Four of Cups. Because I'm getting this person found you very attractive. Under the deck is the Eight of Cups in reverse. There is a situation here that's not over. I feel like you, the two of you, I feel like you're confused. I'm having a hard time just putting sentences together, but it's very clear here. I can see that somebody liked you. Someone thought you were attractive. They may be a fire sign, but I think this is you sitting here, the Queen of Wands. They wanted to manifest... Um, they want us to move forward, but I think they disappear. Now when they come back, the Four of Cups, I feel like you are less excited to take that cup. Um, I think the Page of Cups is them up close. That's them giving you a cup. And again, the Eight of Cups in reverse tells me that they didn't actually let this go in their mind. Now I have noticed with certain people, and usually it's men, I know this is a bit sexist, but that sometimes like a whole four weeks, eight weeks, whatever can go by. And it's kind of like, it, like they don't even realize it was that long. And you're kind of like, yeah, I was waiting. It was a long time. They felt like, well, it was just a week. Wasn't it just a week or so? Or no. So it could be that this person was always thinking of you or again, you put, got put on the back burner, but um, something else I'm getting it was something such as um, an illness, a major illness. What is the page of cups? Four of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so this person may have been suffering or like healing. They may have been very sad, Ten of Wands, but now I feel like they're popping back to life. So there's a mourning period here, something along that line, and now they're coming back around. Um, with the Seven of Cups under the deck and the, the Hangman, it's almost like you're looking at this person like, what the heck, what the hell, what? You're coming back around, where have you been? Um, Oh, they may be worrying. Okay, maybe they just realized also, oh my gosh, it's been that long. Maybe you tell them. It's been like two months. I haven't heard a single thing from you. I was waiting. I kind of feel like this person is saying, where did the time go? I feel like this person is almost surprised. I'm not sure how people can do that, but that I guess time just went by very quickly. But let me see, what is the hangman? 
The devil, the tower, the eight of swords. Okay, so they were stuck in something, the hanged man. This was blocked. Now, I did notice up here, it looks like maybe for someone, there could have been, I'm getting like so many things. I don't wanna go over a single thing because yeah, for somebody, yeah, maybe there was a third person or they're married to somebody or somebody like came in and like they had to take care. Like I'm getting like wild parties. I'm getting teenagers who are out of control. I'm getting a third party or they're married or something like that or that's not for most of you. I'm getting like there was something they had to fix. There was something that came into their life, um, but it was like they had to fix it first. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now this kind of makes me think of someone who is in a marriage that feels like they're attached to it, like they can't get out of it, but maybe they did, they got out of it during this time. They had to make a choice, they saw something differently or they took care of something, something that was holding them back, something that caused them to disappear, to ghost. They are no longer attached to it. They finally, re something, something has clicked in this person's mind about a situation. But again, this is like behind the scenes. This isn't stuff I think that really affects you or their disappearance affected you, but whatever was going on in their life didn't really, you know, it was something they were working on their own. And again, it just, time went by, but the Ace of Coin is the outcome here. So Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords, do one more, the Six of Coins, Two of Swords, and the Queen of Coins. Okay, so there you are, Virgo. The Ace of Coin is under the deck. I can see the sentence here. So you guys are going to communicate if you haven't already. You will have an argument. You'll say, I want to either move away from you or we're going to move forward slowly, one or the other. But this person will want to take you out six of coins. They will take you out, maybe treat you to something nice. Um, you will have this coin that they're holding. I know that's you, of course, queen of coins. But again, I feel like it's you holding this coin up close. And you're looking at what they're offering. You're looking at the commitment. You're looking at, you know, whatever this is. And now you have to decide with the two of swords. So... They could be a Gemini, they could be, uh, again, a King of Swords energy under here, but it's showing you right here, they're coming in straight. Okay, so I feel like this person will be honest. So again, what is this person's intentions with you? Well, they want commitment, they want something solid, they wanna give you something solid. They've been through something, I'm getting like two months is the timeline. Now it could be any timeline, but I'm kinda of getting the past two months, they had to deal with this other situation. That situation, it feels like it's either out of their life or almost out of their out of their life but now they're kind of like coming back to life and you're just not really sure because maybe you feel like this person's only into you because you're attractive or so no this person i feel is going to be a straight shooter with the king of swords energy under here um let me see a little bit about this person gemini give me a couple things about this person something that we may or not know good or bad we have they may have an adventurous spirit they might be emotionally guarded. They, they could be a caretaker. They could be have. They could have been taking care of someone else, like I mentioned. Someone who overspends. Someone who has money, spends money, likes to go out. So no, I think you had a good time with this person initially, but you just couldn't read them. You couldn't tell what they wanted. You weren't sure exactly what it was, but you really liked them. You guys had a lot of fun, and then they had to go take care of something. They had to, yeah, whatever it was that got in the way, but they're coming back with the Ace of Coin. Okay, what would this person possibly like to say to Virgo? Is there something they would like to say to Virgo? Thank you. I'm recovering. So maybe this person was the one who got sick I'm picking up on. Maybe uh, it could have been COVID related or something along that line, but we see here recovering. I'm getting coughing here. I'm getting lungs, a lot of like coughing stuff. Um, I don't go into any more of that. That was graphic. I don't want to go into what was sick or anything. I just want to kind of keep it like, okay, so there was something that wasn't good. They weren't healthy. Someone wasn't healthy, but they are recovering. They're feeling good. So yeah, there was sickness here. So you can't really blame them. Cause I get for some of you, maybe no one else knew about you, you guys just started dating. So anything else they might want to say? I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what you find out. Um, it wasn't what you thought. You're going to give this person another chance. Okay. Nothing else is really coming out. But let's see. Someone said, I trusted you. So maybe again, you felt like they betrayed you. They just disappeared. Um, again, that may be what you guys are fighting about. I thought things were going to work out. Um, and then boom, you disappeared. But again, let this person show you what happened and tell you, you know. So let me go to this deck for a little bit of um, advice regarding this person. Okay. 
have the Ace of Cups here, the High Priestess, the Seven of Coins, and the Ace of Cups with the King of Wands here. I'm going kind of backwards, but they fell out this way. So the Seven of Wands and the World, the Queen of Swords. Now this could be you. You might be a little pissed off at this person, right? You want the, you want the truth, the strength card. You may not even want to talk to this person at this point when you hear it from them. Again, the Four of Cups. Uh, five of Swords, the King of Wands. I feel like this person can be very persuasive. I feel like this person can be very attractive, very persuasive. They tend to... Um, They may tend to tease you a lot sometimes or listen to your intuition, the seven of coins and the ace of cups. Now, for some of you, this person, again, obviously has not come back in. You haven't heard from them yet. Um, it could be within five days, five weeks. For those that this, this is resonating, if this is your uh, person. I'm getting for someone you may have been dating several people all at once. You know, you're online dating, dating different people. Um, I thought this person though, really liked you, the Five of Swords, though. Like, they wanted to slay the competition. They had a good time with you, so that's what kind of has thrown you and kind of and really upset you. Because Queen of Swords usually means that you're pissed off, in my opinion. So it's like, okay, I don't want to hear bullshit. I don't want to hear lies. I want to hear the truth. Listen to your intuition. Now, if there's red flags for you and you feel like mm, that is, that's just not sounding right, then this may not be your person. This may not be your reading and that, you know, follow the red flags. So seven of coins, this person is going to come back and I feel like they're almost going to be very like, so almost like healthier when they, than when they left. They may have been sick when you were dating them. They didn't know or they were becoming sick because I'm getting this person like is popping back to life in a sense and they're looking better or even better than they did. And again, it may not be, the cards are showing me someone specifically that this person was the one who got sick. Initially I got like, it may have been a family member but um, it could be anyone. And it doesn't even have to be sickness. It could have been something else. Because um, I do get for somebody who was like a grandparent. I'm getting specifically like a mother, a grandmother that was uh, sick. And that may have even passed. But um, And they spent a lot of money on taking care of her. Caretakers were coming in. People were coming in to help with the things that were going on. Um, for some some of you, they this person can prove it. They will show you something. You will know that they're being you know honest and truthful. And this is the beginning of a new relationship. So again, this what this person wants though, because the Ten of Cups, Ace of Coins tells me this person is someone with the King of Coins energy or Queen, that they do want something long-term. They are looking for a commitment. Because it's not unusual for somebody to tell you right off the bat, or you tell them, you know, I'm looking to get married. So let's not fool around here. You know, if you're not looking for that, then let's move on. This person is looking to date so that they will get married or in a committed relationship. So. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this is helpful. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.